What's up YouTube? Welcome back to POV Pottery. I know it has been quite some time since I have done a video. Um, I've been waiting on getting this brand new camera that I have and uh, trying to get a little bit more of a stable shot. Anyways, here we go. Brand new camera, brand, brand new camera setup. Please let me know in the comment sections below what you think of uh, this new setup. So I'm not I'm not using the GoPro anymore. I'm just using uh, a tripod with a new camera and um, as you guys are learning pottery I am kind of learning cinematography and YouTube and thumbnails and lighting, audio, all that good stuff so thanks for being patient with me as uh, I'm learning Oh, the red, the red stuff on my hands. It's not blood. It's uh, it's actually fountain pen ink from, uh, I was doing some adjustments on some of my fountain pens, on a fountain pen that I have. And um, I got, you know, I got ink all over myself. The name of the ink is actually called ox blood. So it does look like blood. Um, Today I'm using a Coleman porcelain and I wanted to talk about how do you center a piece of clay after it's open. This is a question, this is one of the things that comes up in my classes over and over again. I've got a student who um, maybe opened up a clay, opened up their clay before it was rock solid centered. Okay, so this piece of clay, this is is totally centered um, and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna get the opening off center by going straight down not adding enough water and if you can see now there's a little bit of a wobble to it let's make it a little worse okay what do you do if your clay is a little bit off center well there's a two-part move the first part is grab the clay like it is a steering wheel and press down and hold. Okay, that's the first move part of the squeeze and freeze. You're gonna grab at 10 and 2, and I'm gonna, I might get my head in the shot here. I'm gonna grab this push down, and you're trying to make this channel between your hand that the clay is gonna go through, and you wanna hold st still and steady. The second part of this move is um, you put your left thumb at about 5 o'clock and your right thumb at about 5 o'clock. Okay, and just hold steady. A lot of weight on your elbows. Flex your stomach. Hold steady. Whew. And um, this move is called the squeeze and freeze. Hence the name. You squeeze and you freeze, and that's how to center a piece of clay once it's already open because you certainly do not want to start doing pulls if your clay is off center okay like if this clay is off center right here and your your finger is moving or if there's any kind of pulse you don't want to do start your pulse it's going to be frustrating and you'll have uneven pulls um, so once again clay is off center and this is a great thing to practice your clay's off center and it's open. Step one, grab it like a steering wheel. Weight on your elbows, your elbows should be on your legs, braced, or against your hips. Step one, grab it at 10 and two. Step two, you do this like, you know, butterfly or birdie shadow puppet, and you grab the clay between your fingers, your thumbs, like this, at about five o'clock, so the clay is going away from you. And you hold for 15, 20 revolutions. Bada bing. Then your clay will be centered and it's open. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is just a little kind of short experiment on the new camera setup. Please uh, let me know in the comment sections below um, if this 
move is helpful to you in centering your clay and if you like the new camera setup. Um, I am going to be putting out a whole bunch of new videos now that I got a new camera and I am going to uh, try some new things, you know. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I'm just in here by my garage by myself, uh, and it's nice to have a little bit of that, um, you know, external validation. Alrighty, folks, have a great day. Keep rocking it. Bye.